Hi, today at Jano Fabrics, our craft tip of the day is how to personalize uh, baby bibs. Right here I have um, a plain white bib and I have some heat and bond uh, that I'm going to use with my material. It's good to get the extra hold uh, heat and bond and some fabric. It could be whatever you want. Um, we're going to personalize these. So I, I like butterflies and it's springtime so I went with this fabric. A pair of scissors, an iron on low, low heat setting and an ironing board. Okay, I'm going to get started by turning my iron on low heat, making sure there is no steam on the setting. And then I'm going to focus on my material. I think I'm going to use two butterflies for this because I went with a larger bib so I can have more space to personalize and be creative. And I'm going to go with these two. And my heat and bond which is, you only need a small square, enough to cover the area which you're going to cut. And you want your material to be a lot more than the heat and bond. That way when you go to iron it, you're not ironing the heat and bond, you're ironing the fabric. Because the heat and bond will stick to the iron and that's not good. So I'm going to lay my material flat on the ironing board and I think my iron is just about ready and I'm going to place it down on my material and I'm going to place it firmly going back and forth for about 8 to 10 seconds okay and this is just about Done. And in order to make sure that you're done with the ironing is to make sure that the paper is actually peeling apart from the adhesive, which you can see is the glossy film that's left behind on the material. So we're going to peel this back. If not, you just can hold the iron on there for a couple seconds longer. Done with my iron. And I decided to um, bring out another supply, which is a pair of pink and shears. You can either use these or regular scissors, but I like these because they give like a cool zigzag edge to the edge of my fabric. And make sure when you are using your fabric that it is 100% uh, cotton uh, novelty fabric and that it does go with the heat and bond because some fabrics aren't necessarily good for projects like this. So it's good to test a little sample beforehand to make sure it's adhering. And these were the two butterflies I wanted to go with. I'm going to get rid of my scrap and I'm going to focus on my butterflies. For this one, I'm going to do just a square around each. Again, it's a personalized project, so you don't have to be perfect with it. Just have fun. That's my one butterfly. my two pieces. I'm going to remove the trash. I'm going to take my bib, lay it down, and if you have to, uh, you can take your iron and just get out some of the large wrinkles in the bib. That way it's nice and straight. Okay, so these are my two pieces here, 
and you could see the adhesive in the back. The directions on the uh, heat and bond uh, suggest to leave the paper on before uh, cutting. So, but for this video, I took them off so that you can really see what it is that you need to make sure is left on the back of the fabric. And I'm going to place them. However, I think this is a cute right here, from corner to corner on my bib. And I'm going to take my iron, press it down, about 8 to 10 seconds, pressing firmly, making sure that, that it's going down onto the bib. I'll do my other one. ensure that it's down on to the bib we can also turn it around on the other side and apply the heat to the back of the bib again make sure you're pressing firmly that way it ensures that the adhesive is sticky can just test it by raising up a corner and making sure the material isn't coming up as you're doing that. So just do it a little bit more here. And on the top. And there we have it. A personalized bib. Okay, and this is what I just finished. This is the bib, and you know, you can actually make the onesie be matching to the bib, but I just put this up here so you can get a more sense of how it looks on the baby. And it looks really cool because it's in two different spots, other than going to the store and buying a pre-designed bib and just selling for it because you need one in an emergency. This is more cool and creative. And here is the onesie with the frog in the upper left corner, which is great for spring. And you only need a little bit of fabric to make something creative like this. You can use a remnant and just, you know, cut out the little decal part that you like. This is the duck here, just cute for a zero to three months. And I have a little cupcake here. So have fun with the project and enjoy it. For more details, you go to jnofabrics.com.